Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. We are so excited to have you again. A very important um, group has decided to react over the case of Mazinam Dikanu being tried secretly. As of yesterday, the Federal High Court introduced new practice direction for terrorism-related cases. And one of the provisions was that the case will be tried secretly. And um, most people feel very uncomfortable with this, and some believe that he will not be given fair and a free and fair judgment. Some also believe that it was a strategy, you know, to fully mess him up and all of that. But this key um, social political group has spoken about this very important decision taken by the federal government and we're going to be looking at it in a jiffy and see some of the reactions of nigerians in that respect and according to the news the human rights right association of nigeria horiwa has rejected the decision of the president muhammadu buhari administration to try mazinam Mikano, leader of the indigenous people of biafra ipop secretly the Federal High Court during the week introduced its new practice the direction on trial of terrorism-related cases in the country. Trial of terrorism-related offenses such as that of Mazinam de Kano are to henceforth be conducted in camera, except where the chief judge of the court grants permission media coverage may be prohibited. The chief judge of the court, Justice John Tehembe Soho, in exercise of his constitutional power as enshrined in Section 254 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended, and all other powers enabling him made the practice direction. Oriwa warned that this very move would likely escalate the security situation in the southeast, adding that the federal government had adopted this measure because they know they have nothing against the IPOP leader. In a statement signed by Comrade Emmanuel Onwubiko, its national coordinator, Oriwa said that secret trial for the leader of the non proscribed indigenous people of Biafra Ipom after he was abducted forcefully from Kenya by Nigeria Secret Service in collaboration with their Kenyan counterpart after being subjected to horrendous ordeals and illegal rendition, which offense relate relevant international humanitarian law is unconstitutional, primitive, illegal, and obnoxious. It is as if Nigeria is back to the days of military tribunal whereby citizens were simply chopped off the street and made to face organized trial with predetermined outcome. The decision on the Mazinam Dikano's case is totally unlawful and irregular. If government believe it has a case against him which is very doubtful, why is government afraid of lights of the light and has chosen to try him in dark? This may escalate the security situation in the South is because most people will see these as not being transparent, open, justifiably carried out. Whatever outcome from such a secret trial is amnesio null, void and of no moment. We in Horiwa reject this appalling demolition of judicial transparency by the President Muhammadu Buhari led government. This will adversely damage constitutional democracy. Mm. Now, we expected this to come up because um, whenever things are done in the glare of the public, People seem to believe more on it and people seem to really accept it. From yesterday, reactions have been so strong about this decision that the federal government has taken in this respect. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, Nigerians have little or nothing to do about it because of their position. But, you know, looking at what Horiwa had just said about this issue, I, I, I feel that the government should 
take it into consideration because the lack of transparency may trigger what we least expected in the South. Is already South East, as we are talking, is on fire in terms of the case of security and all of that. So for you to now bring up strategy that kind of make clumsy this case, then we should get ready for the unthinkable because if it was done in the light of where everyone sees it and it generated so much controversy now that nobody even get to know about what is going on some persons may start ruling out some very fake news some very uh, unbelievable news shared on social media before you know it would trigger a lot of things so i i feel that um, some of the provision that has been made it, uh, it, it's not good enough looking at the fragile nature of the country security wise you know we we should be careful the kind of policies we roll out because it may go an extra mile to endanger a lot of things don't forget that there are a lot of people that enjoy you know Wahala in the country and whenever laws are coming out like this as much as they can you know um, work on it and take advantage of it and flame up the country then it's going to happen you know because according to um, the practice the new uh, direction practices that were rolled out about this case one of it was that um, the media has no right to talk about anything about the case and uh, nobody has the right also to give an idea of what actually happened in court in the event of sharing it the person needs to get ready for um, being charged to court for an offense which is already provided for in nigerian constitution so you now see that uh, no one will really understand what is going on you know and unfortunately, um, according to them, the litigant and uh, his legal representatives are the only people who are expected to be in court, you know. And if those are the only few people that should be in court, it therefore means the public knows nothing, the family knows nothing, nobody will be allowed. You know, before now, we normally see the, forefa uh, the, the, the fathers, you know, of Mazinam the Kanu, his relatives, his family will go into the court. But this time around, it's different. And it's not even going to be whole held in the high court, but in code of conduct tribunal. So you just realize that uh, it, 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 the whole thing is not favorable to the victims, you know. And I, I feel that the government should have a rethink in this direction, just like Oriwa had said, so that we can calm the names of Nigeria. Don't forget that this is democracy, government of the people for the people. And if you refuse to, you know, align with their demands automatically, the constitutional democracy we claim we are doing is now abolished, and which at one point it may also turn to affect us because um, the truth be told, you're not going to be in power forever. A time will come you're going to quit, you know, even if you quit now and you put uh, a successor who will stand in defense of you, the nearest future, another person who knows not, know not Joseph will come in. That's a pharaoh who knows not Joseph may come in and you will see that all the sins of the past will be recalled and who knows what will happen then, you know. So I, 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 I really stand with Horiwa, what they are saying, and I feel that the government should have a rethink in that direction. But that's where we would like to leave it. What is your position in respect to the new practice direction that have been rolled out against terrorism related cases and also what's your contribution about the case of Mazinamikano. Let's interact.